How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is going to be the location of the very first heist mission in the game. Now Rockstar promised Grand Theft Auto Online to have the same heist missions as single player, and like I just told you, I believe I found the first location of the heist that they are going to be unlocking. So, it is located in North Vinewood, it's kind of next to a movie theater and the Star Walk, uh, I'll put it on the map for you right now. And what it is, it's, it's this giant bank. It is like the Pacific Standard uh, Public Depository Bank. You'll notice it by the advertisements that are above it. I know it's kind of odd to have a bank that has advertisements on it. And to my surprise, I was able to just walk into this bank. Now, like many of the other fully functioning ATMs in the game, you can go up to any one of those ATMs right there and deposit money, withdraw money. But the main kicker behind this is the interactivity and detail that Rockstar put into this bank right here. Now, I don't know if you've gone in this place before, but it has the making to set up for the very first heist mission because it has me wondering why would Rockstar put that much detail into a building if they weren't going to plan on using it for some specific and really big way in the future. So I'm going to put a picture on the screen for you right now. And this is an image straight from Rockstar. And it, it looks to be four characters heading into the same bank on some sort of heist mission. So it looks like this is going to be the very first heist mission or, or one of the very first you can do robbing this bank. I mean, you can go in every one of the offices. Why would Rockstar do this if they didn't have intentions for people being in here or maybe security guards sitting in there? It's just puzzling to see why all the detail went into a building like this with no use. Now, another thing that's really interesting is this kind of cellar locking mechanism right here. It leads to a basement that you don't have access to. Will we have access to this or are we going to have a hacker uh, like part of the campaign get us in here so we can, you know, go into the safe in the basement and take all the jewels and funds and money out? It's just really surprising as well. There's also an elevator right here that looks to be maybe some sort of use in the future and just all these areas for tellers to be, which I think is really interesting. You know, uh, I'm just thinking to myself, why would this be here if Rockstar didn't want this to be uh, a really dynamic part of their online experience, especially for heist modes? Because uh, for heist modes, you are going to be dealing with large amounts of cash, uh, similar to the campaign where you're either robbing a jewelry store or going to a bank or a union depository. This building just has the making of really everything you want to be a really cool heist mission because there could be security guards, there could be police force, uh, you got to deal with civilians that are going to be in the bank. So I really think that this is going to be the first location of the heist mission. It just really makes sense uh, and everything's really coming together so far so anyways guys if you would leave a like on the video and leave a comment what do you think about my kind of analysis of this being the first heist location I'm actually curious to know what you guys think as well so anyways guys like I said if you did enjoy this video please drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new we're gonna be doing some awesome Grand Theft Auto 5 content coming in the future especially when heists come out I really can't wait for that but anyways guys like I said take care and of course I'll see you guys in the next video